As although we're past the peak of hurricane season in September, October is the third most active month of the six month long season. Wow. We've still got a third of the season to go. Wow. So a lot going on it's out there. We had about a week and a half of quiet conditions in the tropics. Yeah. Now things starting to flare up again. In October, we look towards the Western Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico to see the majority of any tropical development. And that's exactly where we're seeing it this morning. The Western Caribbean, just north of Panama there, northeast of Costa Rica. See that flare up of some uh, thunderstorms trying to organize itself. And this is eventually going to become known as Nate as it travels northwards. The issue being this part of the ocean has been untapped so far this season. There hasn't been any storms here, so the water is very warm and it goes through quite a depth. And that's a lot of energy available for these storms to use and the temperature is running about two to five degrees above normal for this time of the year. So lots of fuel available as this travels north. Let's look at the models here on Invest 90L, which is what it's known as now before it gets that upgrade to a tropical depression or tropical storm. It moves north over that very warm water and eventually emerges into the Gulf of Mexico. And it could possibly, again, this isn't set in stone, make landfall anywhere from Louisiana up through the uh, panhandle of Florida as we get into the later part of the weekend and early next week. Its intensity at that point still yet unknown, but it could certainly be a Tropical storm or minimal grade hurricane by that point with how warm the waters are. High pressure sitting over us right now, and this moves east and offshore later today, and that'll turn our winds in more out of the south, which is why our temperatures are going to be on their way up over the next few days. Today, we'll still stay in the 70s, starting off in the 60s, but this is misleading because this is at Norfolk International. Everywhere else, pretty much cooler than that. 54 in Newport News, 49 in Chesapeake, 52 in Ahoski, 47 in Melfa, 55 Hampton in Portsmouth, 50 in Gatesville, and 54 so far in Williamsburg. The average this time of the year around 74, 75, right on target for that today. But then we warm up into the 80s and stay there right into the beginning of next week, even in the mid 80s. That's a good 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. Going through future cast here, a few clouds mixing into our skies today with those winds still having an easterly component coming in off the water. Temperatures a little bit warmer though in the mid to upper 70s. And then tonight you notice these streamers starting to come a little bit more out of the south to southeast. That's going to bring in some low level moisture in terms of some fog by tomorrow morning, but then after that fog clears, we're going to warm up quickly into the upper 70s and lower 80s, even warmer temperatures on tap for Friday and into the upcoming weekend. So highs today, mid 70s in Norfolk, 77 in Chesapeake, 78 in Suffolk, up through the peninsula, low 80s in Williamsburg, 74 Matthews to Cape Charles and Melfa, and we go south into northeastern North Carolina, upper 70s, a low to mid 70s along the outer banks in Manio to KDH. 62 tonight, mainly clear, some patchy dense fog developing with those winds coming in more out of the south to southeast and there's your weekend kind of split 50 50 the better day going to be Saturday mostly sunny and warm increasing clouds on Sunday with rain possible by the evening and on the other side of the weekend that rain looks to move on in here Monday and Tuesday much needed been rather dry for the last few weeks.